play is Shadow Mewtwo and Chandelure. He may play other characters, but I'm not really 100% sure on that. But right now, we have to focus on the Chandelure vs. Chandelure matchup. So this matchup, we see this very often on Twitchy stream, where <laughs> never does stream because they like to mess around a lot. And uh, let's just say this match is nutty. It's just straight up nutty. It's, it's, it's w really wacky. Like, or you just hyper beam each other from a crowd. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's, it's a combination of that and that they pierce each other's options. So it's just like a, like a three layers deep of Yomi that you need to like be aware of between these two. Oh, nice. Like getting that nice combo off of that jump. Oh, running right into the fence. Right into that purple fence. To be honest, I think this was the matchup that Twitchy was looking forward to all, all day. <laughs> he, he was sitting behind Abadongo watching all his matches. It's like, oh man, this is going to be amazing like, to play Abadongo in, in, in pools on stream. Oh, here, man. We, here we are. This is a dominating round from Twixie. And, and why didn't that hex work just there? Was it just out of range? It looked like... Um, um, I think he mistimed it. Uh, I, th okay. I think he was a bit too early on that, and he didn't quite get the active things to activate. <laughs> Look at them hanging See, from the ceiling. It's, it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a lot of this. A lot of lasers with me. A lot of lasers having to be redirected. It's just it's just really weird. Really oh, that wacky. that time it paid off. That hex. Okay, you're, you're using that. Oh, Hexing him again. <laughs> you can't close an from that range. You're not safely. Not on a knockdown. Oh, oh my a, goodness. A third hex. Hey, he's minimizing. Oh, oh you get can, out of here. Grab, no, you can grab minimize now. This is a DX. Yeah. This is a 1.5 change in arcades where you can now grab minimize from Shandy. So, Twixie saw he was minimized and he just did the hex first. <laughs> I, I don't think Abaddon actually knows that change is a thing. I don't know how practice he is in, in uh, this game uh, as opposed to Smash 4. So, he may not have not known, not known that. And it's going to take it. Another one for Twixie. A nice, uh, you know, he's pretty confident in this matchup. It looks like, like you said, he plays it a lot on he, stream. He plays this matchup quite a bit on stream because they like to mess around on his streams a lot. His, if you haven't watched Twixie's stream, it's actually a very fun time. Uh, a, a lot of shenanigans happen, a lot of really weird matchups on stream. Like, you'll see Twixie play a character they really play ever, ever and then you just, like, do really random stuff against someone else who's a player character they don't play. And it's just a really... Really fun time to be had. Yeah, Twixie's a fun stream. guy. I went, I don't go there too often, but last time I was there, they were, they were playing SpongeBob classic songs, and I was I was totally for that. So let's see. What, what do you think Abadango can do differently? You, you, do you, you think he can change up his support? Is he going to try to try to jump he, more? He, Is he going to go did, in? He did change support to Amoga, from what I'm seeing, um, which does help against Chandy getting the knockdown and make sure you can get your fresh start at first. But what I think the issue here is that he's acting first. And in most mirror matches, at least at least with this one, if you act first, normally you lose. Because if you <laughs> if, if the other person has moved out of the way of your attack, you're not getting free punish from full screen. Like like that. Oh, like yeah. perfect, case e case perfect example, yes. Just like you were saying. And here comes the combo. Boom. Man, hitting them with those light pulls, man. Those things extend so far. Shooting those light cannons at them. Oh, nice ranging game right here. Oh, there See, we go. Again, if, if you if you act first, you normally lose in this, in this mirror match. Oh, he got stuck, and he's going to eat another hyper beam for that. Oh, nice hex there. Beautiful space. Probably didn't expect it either. But there's no debuff, so it's not going to do much damage. The knockdown. What's the setup? 86x. Oh, nice oh. overheat. Oh, overheat, Oki. That's a. Uh that's gutsy. <laughs> it's, it's always when you least expect it, man. It's just I mean, actually, thinking about it, I think not gutsy in this matchup. Because, uh, wake up, small. I don't think they'll pierce that. So, not, not a bad idea. That's, that's a good question, right? You, can, you, you could probably pierce the overheat if you're waiting for it. But if you're throwing out your normals, or do her normals, or do her normals also count up here? Mm, no. Well, so, so no. here you go, battling across the stage. Both these characters enjoy being at that distance, I imagine. But then one just moving right in, taking him to the wall. Oh, that will was just keeping him locked down. Back and forth here. Nice hex grab. Shoot, just another laser beam right to the chest. And that one crit. No, that means I was going for a hex on that at that moment. Oh my His god. Hex is this it? No, no, no. Nope. Still a little bit left on him. This is an uphill mountain to climb for Abaddon. He's right got now. no shield left, pretty much. He can't take too much. 
Oh, but he's in. He's in. Here comes his setup. He dashed into it. I think, I think he was hoping that the Willows would move further forward when he dashed forward so he can get uh, in front of it. But it didn't work out that way for him. If Abba can hold out for just a little bit longer and get some more synergy gauge for him, he can pop burst and try him out and come back. Like that. And he the broke the shield, too, so now he cannot burst himself. Yeah. And there's seven seconds left. Don't. There it goes. Beautiful turnaround play. I was going to mention to not, not go in too much, but that, that worked out perfectly for Abadaro. Yeah, he played it really smart, got the shield break, got his own burst, the field shift, and they all worked out at the end. He's been involved really playing some uh, Chandler's back wide to get past Twixie's uh, five wide and get a punish. Lots more fireballs being thrown here. Your turn, my turn, but <laughs> that turn worked out. Hitting him with the beam. Comes the Moga. Oh, hitting him with the smog. Oh, that dirty smoke up in there. Pollute in the air. But it didn't work out for him. Immediate hex. That's going to be a lot of damage. And then knockdown down that setup. Okay, the meaty. Pushing him to the wall. Going to burst. Get out of that situation. That new, that In the new sky. full screen laser from Shandy. That does not combo. It, it hit really, really, so it's kind of weird. Overheat. To, oh, overheat. It's going to take it for Twixie. And you just saw Abadango lean back, stand two, up on his stage like, oh, two, why? Two, oh, Twixie. Why did the overheat get me? I know, I know when I want to overheat. I should know when someone's going to overheat. So.